Thanks for your help. You're quite welcome, Jim. I'm glad to help. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Black Dahlia. Last time, we went further into our trance. And we... glimpsed into... other people's lives in a pool. Let's try and get some more information from Madame Cassandra before we head out. I was in this giant hall. And at the base of a throne, there was a pool. And around the edge of the pool were these little stones. And then when I placed one of those stones in the pool, I saw things. The stones are iconic. They are a representation or a symbol of a person. These icons allow you to see who they represent through your dreams. It's a simple matter to create these icons. All you need is a personal item or some kind of totem to represent who you want to see. Okay. Um, that includes Pearson. That includes us. I saw myself in there. I, I was at this very table in a trance. You were by my side. Yes. Your attacker must have obtained a totem of yours. Any personal item of importance would have worked. A lock of your hair, something you cared about deeply, like a family heirloom. My St. Christopher's medal. It's been missing. Yes, that certainly would have worked. Of course, you could turn the tables on him and see him in your dream. If you had one of his totems. It would have to be something personal, something that was part of him, something that he uses regularly. If I knew who he was, I wouldn't need to see him in my dreams. I'd go straight after the son of a bitch. Excuse me, ma'am. That's quite all right, Jim. I've heard far worse. It's true. Finding an appropriate totem won't be easy. It may aid you yet. All right. If I can find anything like that, I'll be sure to bring it to you. All right. Well, we kind of have another goal that we can at least do. Difficult, but at least it's a goal. Trying to find a totem something precious to the torso killer. Yeah, easier said than done. Okay. Not much purpose of going back into the trance. At this point, we are just going to go straight to the, back to the pool. And unless you want to see the same scenes again, not much going on there. Jeez, we have a lot of photos. Okay. Luckily, a lot of these photos will go away after a while, especially once we get into Disc 5, which is not far away. So, like I mentioned last time, at the end of the video, we have new information in order to jump off of, a new lead to follow, and it's back at the Santini home. When you're finished, you come into the kitchen. I make you a good meal. <laughs> There's no need for that, ma'am. <laughs> Look at you, you're all skin and bones. You come in the kitchen before you go and you eat. <laughs> all right. A home-cooked meal does sound good right about now. I don't think you ever turned down a good home-cooked Italian meal. In that sense. Alright. So, if you weren't paying attention specifically to the dream of Santini in his room, there was one thing that he was actually hiding away over on the right side of his room that we now have access to. Hidden in one of the baseboards. A whole bunch of different things in here. Some notes. Some just extra things in hiding. What do we got here? According to Oglin, the ceremony that they gathered to pursue had originally been recorded in an ancient runic text called the Thule Prophecy. Independent inquiries into the validity of this document indicate that it is, does indeed exist. It is an odd mix of pagan and early Christian sophistic 
folklore which originated among the rebellious proclamations of East Frisian tribal leaders, who in 800 AD and under the influence of their Viking cousins to the north, conspired to throw off the Holy Roman yoke and return to the free and easy lifestyle of their pagan ancestors. The rebellion was of course crushed by Charlemagne, who subsequently ordered the codification of Germanic tribal law in order to protect such disgruntled citizens' future... Blah, 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 blah. Huh. So, based on what we already have in our inventory, we have that invitation. It looks like we can kind of deduce that Santini was Fisher's candidate. And that, I guess, Von Hess was also looking for a candidate in another person? But I couldn't say for sure. But they were definitely looking for other people. In addition, more runes. Mrs. Santini, I am indeed interested in the items that you described to me at our last meeting. I have made arrangements to supply you with payment in the amount that you requested. Meet me on Thursday at the usual time and place where the exchange can occur. I promise you that I will not be late this time and that your security will not be compromised. Walter Penske. So that's how Mr. Penske got those runes. I guess Angelo did cross the wrong guy after all. Mrs. Santini? Mrs. Santini? What is it? I'm sorry to have disturbed his room, ma'am, but I found something. I know this can't compensate for the loss of your son, but I know that Angela would have wanted you to have this. Bless you, Mr. Kirsten. You are, you are a good boy. So that is it for the Santini home. Alright, what does that leave us left to do, really? You can always head back to Cassandra, but there's really no need to. There's no change that can really happen. Of course, we can always go to the Raven Room, but I'm not doing that invitation puzzle. Not now. I will leave it to later so that I can go ahead and just to complain about it more. The FBI office really doesn't have a whole lot to deal with. Sullivan's no help. My goodness, what is there to do? Well, let's check with Marilow. Let's at least go somewhere. We need to get out. Come in. What can I do for you, Pearson? Alright, so we can always see the torso case file again. I'm wondering. Ah, whoa, there's a whole lot more notes. Okay, yeah. So if you're ever wanting to see the case notes again, um. Yeah. He definitely. Pearson definitely wrote everything down. Yeah. Found in the compartment, so we can always look at the Wisdom of the Dragon runes. I haven't actually noticed this before. This is what I never really look at before. Key points to remember. Trying to help us anyways. Message from folder. Oh, even the folded information. Must continue to swell. That's what it's that's what it's called. A little too late with that video. Yeah, present this information to your can invitation to your candidate. Dates are all hard to read because of blood spatters, and then you get into all of the victims. Okay. Plato Daily Mail. White male, black male. White female. Black female. 
even got all of the newspaper names that are half there. And then the runes that were r written down on the envelope. Which are just those four. Is there another page? Not quite yet. It says 9 of 10, but I guess it's just other things. Other things that I could possibly write down. Otherwise, in our inventory, what do we got? We got the Santini papers. Ooh, more things that we can actually read. Hey, yay, yeah, yay, yeah, yay. Yeah. The mythical land of Thule. We return to Midgard. Got some Norse connection there. A whole bunch of different things. I will make some also some notes, so anything that you're interested in reading, I will also put a little bit of a summary at the bottom for you to also read. Maybe in the video, maybe in the video description, whatever I kind of choose to do in editing. But it does just refer back to Odin once again. So seeing where this can actually go to. Okie dokie, yeah, absolutely, okay. So, all of those papers definitely have a whole lot of information there. Um, we have that... Yeah, so we have the letter from Pinsky in our inventory as well that was already written out to us. I don't know what use that kind of has. We have a lot of letters now. I'm just gonna say that. A lot of letters. The main thing that is really important in our inventory right now is the invitation. But I don't want to do anything in the Raven Room just yet. Instead, what you can just do with the game, and the game will not even stop you from doing it, is head back to Kingsbury Run, and that will instigate you being able to change over to Disc 5. And that's exactly what we're going to head off and go and do now. The Raven Room will happen another day. So, I will see you all next time as we head back to Kingsbury Run and begin Disc 5. Something's going to happen. I'll see you next time, everyone.